Hey guys, and welcome to an Unfiltered Gamer live stream video. We're here on Sunday, as always, at 6.30 p.m. PST on Facebook, and we're playing the game Embarcadero, where you're basically going to be building ships and buildings on structures in the wharfs of San Francisco. Your objective is to gain the most influence and power over the course of three rounds, and whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. Utilize your options by choosing to gather boats or structures or buildings, place them down on the board on your turn, draft for the next turn or next round, and then play will pass. We'll do this until we have played five cards for each of the three rounds. At the end of the third round, we will score, and whoever has the most points is the winner. Pretty straightforward, easy to understand. Remember guys, talk in the microphone, and it's gonna be easy for you guys to all hear, and I cannot edit it otherwise. I'm gonna go ahead and switch this down below, and you will get to see us play the game in Barcadero. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. We have some people here with the comments open, and you guys feel free to uh, read the comments out, and if you'd like to, you can even uh, reply to them, or if there's a question for me, or Renegade Studios, Please let us know and I will do my best to answer them now or in the comments below uh, during YouTube. So, now we have the top-down camera for you guys to see us play the game. This is a tableau builder of sorts. We'll be playing on our player boards here and you'll be able to do see the tableau that we build as we continue. It will get larger and larger as the game progresses. There is the boat area on the top right hand side of our boards and the bottom right is going to be our structures, our buildings I should say. Uh, these are structures right here, these little uh, little markers or tokens. Uh, these are buildings and these are boats. And we're going to start with one character, one player board, and then 15 currency. So go ahead and gather uh, two fives and five ones for every single player. I will gather it for Callie and you can gather it for Josh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Then every single player is going to get four building Thanks, cards and they're going to get four boat cards. From there, you're going to choose five of them because we're playing five cards each round mm -hmm. and you are going to then discard the rest of them. We'll discard into a magical place off of the screen. The void. The void, that's <laughs> correct. One, two, three, four for you, Josh, over there. <laughs> and on. Callie will get one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna do the boats for you guys. Four boats. Thank you. Four boats. And, and one thing to note is you're picking your four first boats. can. You need the boat before you can build the building. <laughs> Makes sense. So choose, cards. of these cards, choose five of them. Remember, you'll need boats more than you will need buildings. The top right-hand side of the card, and I'll go ahead and show you guys an example card. Actually, I'll show you an example card from the examples, or from the shop over here, so you guys get an idea. I'll move this right here in the middle. Put all the currency in a little pile here. So this here is the salvage yard. This is the type of building that it is. This is how many spaces the building is going to occupy. And in a three building, it's going to have three here. So you'd place it like, like this, basically. It also tells you in the bottom left or top left hand corner there how many building, um, how many spaces. The top right is going to tell you how much it costs. And this is a dollar. This is the building requirements. In order to build this, you need to have a wood, a brick, and a rock. Each of our characters starts off with giving us a resource. Mine is a brick, whereas Josh's is a rock. And mine is a wood. Uh, over here is what you're going to produce every turn. When you gather this and build this, you're going to be getting uh, to utilize these resources every time you build a building or um, whenever uh, some building card requires it. And then you will gain in uh, uh, currency every round. The bottom right is going to be how much you score uh, in addition to the points up here, which is how much you score when you build the building. This one is two base points, and then you will also score two points for each of these sunk uh, spaces uh, that are on your boat. So for every boat you, boat you sink, you'll get two points when you place this building down. And the bottom left-hand corner over here is the scrap value. This one says you get money equal to the amount of coins or currency icons you have on every single one of your buildings and boats. And we will also get it for each of these sunk boats that you have. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Some of these are gonna cost more than others. So for instance, this one is rather cheap. This is a repair shop and it's only gonna cost you one rock. Whereas if you want something a little more expensive like the opera house, it's gonna cost you a coin, a wood, and a rock. But they usually will produce more or give you more points. So they'll have some type of combination of that. Um, in your hand, you might have some very expensive stuff, which you might want to save, or you might want to discard. And usually at the beginning of the game, you only want to keep some of the more basic stuff. The more expensive stuff is going to generally be more difficult to build. 
And so I am actually going to get rid of these How's two. You actually start with the resource that's on your character card as well. So that's what you said. Did that? Okay. I did. Yeah. <laughs> Addition- <laughs> Additionally, yeah. and I'll get there. Okay. Uh, additionally, you have to pay for each card you want to keep. Um, oh. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. Let's see. I already have this. So I'm going to get rid of this. When you get rid of them, just, just discard them off the side so that they can't be seen. And then you're going to pay. And I'm going to show you the costs here. So for mine, this is going to cost me two and one. So a total of three currency, which I'll just spend into the bank. Just like that. Then these cards will go into my hand. Bo so on your turn, you get to do one of... Uh, you're going to get to do two actions. And uh, the first action you can choose to do is either A, place down a boat... B, place down a building, or C, scrap a card. When you scrap, you discard the card and gather the scrap bonus. When you build a boat, you will take a boat from the supply based on how large it is, and you'll place it down on the docks here. Um, and C, you could choose to build the building, which is if you have the currency required to build the building, you can place a building on a boat that has enough structures to fit it. So for instance, if I had a boat and all boats will always start with one structure, just like buildings will. And I managed to get two additional structures on that boat, just like this. And then let's say that I wanted to build the opera house and I had the resources required. So I had the rock, I had the wood, and I had the gold currency. And I that is a three building. I can take a three building and put it right on top of my boat and then I can place a structure on top of it, just like okay. that. And that will let me build my building. That's how you do it. You cannot build the building halfway or a yeah. quarter of the way. It has to be fully on. It has to be your boat that you build it on. And the boat has to have enough structures for you to place the building down. Okay? By enough structures, you mean filled? Uh, so no, enough structures. You can have a six boat, but if you want to build a four building, as long as there's four structures on your boat that has six, you can build it. Okay. So, for instance, some structures are only going to require two. And if that's the case, you can place... A building on top of it and then when you place a building or a boat you're always gonna get one free structure on top of it just like that okay okay additionally to begin the game every single player starting from the first player which is me so I have the Lombardero token now uh, you'll get to place a boat down and I believe it's a three boat and you can place it down anywhere as long as it's attached to the, the docks. Uh, docks in some way uh, it has to be one on the back end and then the rest on the side so I place mine, and then Max will do the same. Take a three boat and choose the space. Where do you want it? Maybe like right here or something? Yeah, I'm going to go right there. And then Josh, and then Max. In addition, whenever you... Sorry, Callie. In addition, whenever you place a boat down on docks, it's going to cost you one coin per side of the dock that you place your boat on. So if I wanted to place... No, that's not a boat. That is a not a boat. No. That's for your building. So I'm placing boat down. And then you place one of your structures on it. Boat, structure, buildings. And then Callie's going to do the same. Switch over and die. To start with, probably. Probably best. Um, whenever you place... So let's say that Callie had another... This is another boat. If she placed it like this, she'd have to spend one coin because she has one edge connected to the, the, the wharf. And the reason is, is because at the piece. end of every round, it's likely or there's a possibility that you'll be scoring for each of the wharfs for whoever has the most spaces uh, with structures adjacent to that wharf. Okay? Does that make sense? So it's like area of control. Oh, okay. Just put them over there in the corner. Uh, and that's pretty much the entire game. Uh, after every single round, after we all spend our five cards, Four. then... Um, Yep, that's fine. After you, you don't have to show. You can just play. Okay. Uh, at the end of every round, after we all use our five cards for either placing down the boats or placing down the buildings after we have enough structures on our boats or discarding them for our scrapping needs, we'll go over here. Round one is going to give us uh, points for each of the wharfs based on whoever has the most area of control. And then it will score, will score points based on whoever has the most of these type of structures. And the type is listed in the top right-hand side. The second round is going to be whoever is farthest along on this track here, and everybody should have one of their tokens on that space. 
and then it'll be based on this building. And then the third round is both the wharf and the city council track, and also whoever has the most structures. Then we'll do a bonus scoring round based on our additional buildings that we'll have. Some of our buildings will score us additional points at the end of the game. Okay? Okay. That makes sense. Any questions from you guys or the audience? Uh, None from me yet. Alex, how's it going, dude? Hey, Alex, welcome. welcome to the stream. Okay, so we have our extra currency, um, and I will show you how a turn goes. So I'm going to look at my hand of cards, and I'm going to choose to build a boat. And I think... Oof, I don't like either of these. You're going to leave them as scrap, then? Uh, it's hard to decide, because you kind of want area control on the wharfs, but you also want to be able to build things. Mm -hmm. And when you place boats down, they are free, which is nice. I think I'll take this boat here, the Domingo, and I'm gonna go ahead and place it right in my boating area, just like that. And that's going to give me a boat that has three. And I'm gonna go ahead and place it down anywhere I want. I am red though, so it might be to, it might behoove me to place in a red area. You can secure your area or venture to another. That's true. Dock. I also need more structures, too. Hmm. I think I'll place this. Oh, I don't know. I think I'll place this right here. Okay? And whenever I place a boat down, I get to place a structure down as well. And you're only going to have to pay one docking fee because it only attaches on the back. Huh? I don't have to pay any fee because it's oh, not so attached to a wharf. Part. These okay. are the wharfs. You also cannot build in these areas here. Because if you do, you will not be able to play the wharfs down. And there are additional tiles. For instance, there is this one that will let you build it out. And then there is this one, which will basically allow you to place down um, on top of these guys here, I believe, right? Oh, I thought it was in the ocean. So you could build buildings on them. So if you put it right here, you could actually build a structure. Right? Hmm. Maybe. I don't, I don't think that's right. I think you're incorrect. But I'll have to look. Okay. But either way, uh, that's they, they have two different options there. Um, and that's uh, after that, I place this down. Then I get to go ahead and buy any of these that I want. <sighs> and it'll go over here. So there's the cost associated, and then I can place it over in this corner over here. Now I've got wood. I've got my brick. Maybe I want a rock. Or maybe I want more money. Or maybe I want another building. Um... I think I'll take more money. And this also lets me scrap for three structures or five coins. And you place it right here, and you spend the cost required. Take a new card out and place it down right there. And then it will be Max's turn. For my turn, I'm gonna be putting a boat down. I'm gonna be putting the Salem boat, which will allow me to Go right to that. Building goes down up on top. And when it comes to purchasing a new boat or structure, I'm probably going to be going with a boat myself. And I'm going to go with the boat Onyx. So that way I can get some more stones. So yeah, these guys, you place them like this and they count as a boat. Yep. I guess, yes, okay. You may go, Josh. So you... Good. Oh, you copied the exact... Okay. <laughs> Following my unique strategy. Do, so. mm -hmm. Well, you can build up, right? And you can also... You remember, you can also... You can also scrap your, your cards. And some of your cards will let you scrap. Like, for instance, this one here will let me scrap for two structures. Meaning I could take two structures and place them down like that. Mm -hmm. So I can do a building later. And then it also give me money equal to the amount of money symbols I have on all my cards. Okay. Which is a pretty good card if I uh, use it. More if I had more too. money, too, yeah. <laughs> and you can only use these five cards for this first round. So, like like this. Okay, so I scrap, then I get plus two for the amount of green buildings I have. So you're going to get, no, what you'll get, it tells you, uh, structures is equal to green buildings plus two. So for every green building in your tableau, mm -hmm. plus two, it will give you a structure. So right now, oh, that, okay. that will give you two structures if you discard it. Okay. Don't expect a whole lot of building in the first round. You're going to be yeah. kind of engine building if as you were. Uh, I'm going to pay the uh, 
Caledonia, Boke down, has uh, the green on there. So I'm hoping that's paying off at the end of this round. And yeah. Really? Point, I don't have to pay. I, I was being like easy on you guys. That's not actually the greatest move. <laughs> I don't understand enough the rest of the game yet, so. All right, you should do something not I'll so something evil then. Oh. Not so evil. Oh, I gotta not, I mean, don't do, some, don't buy... do something evil. Do something like. I'm gonna buy the press cut because it's zero. Remember that you score for each of these wharfs based on whoever has the most structures, yeah. second most, and third most. Okay. So it would. Have to be actually yeah, it could. So, so it, it doesn't give you anything. So this could. It would. If you place there, you would be tied with Cali for. Mm -hmm. I gotta pay three wharfs. though. Or you, you pay well, uh, three, or you could do that, right or you, you could do that. Right? You can do this or, or this. But you can do however you want. Um, Why not? But, okay. <laughs> okay, you pay one then. Okay. You're connected to the dock. Right? So now, right now, me okay. and you are tied for supremacy yeah. of this dock. I will play the... Ch Wait, did you buy a card? I did. Okay. And so we'll go here. Cost is zero. Oh. Yeah. When, when you buy it, it places right up here. So that way, okay. on your next round, you'll take all five of those cards. And the Cherokee, which is a three boat, and this one will go. Do I secure my area or build out? I think I'll secure my area over here. Okay, that'll cost you one coin. One coin. There you go, Mr. Banker. Mwahaha. And all your money are belong to me. How's it going, Jason? I will Welcome, Jason. Welcome to the stream, man. Embarcadero. We are building uh, ships, structures, and buildings on the wharfs of San Francisco. Pay one for the calico there. This one? Oh, the calico ship. Cool. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's going to give you five or five money, or it will give you three structures. You scrap it, too, which is pretty good. And then her turn is done, and it's my turn. And I want... Both of these are good. But I think I will place out a carpenter and that just requires one brick and I happen to have a brick right that's all you need one brick okay. one brick we're good and it's going to give me a cloth and a currency and the currencies will be on the next round I'll get money equal to the amount of currency I have and this is what's to say money equals to wood is that what I'll get instantaneously yes so I get one point because it's worth one point so move me up on the track red will go one here red and then I get one point for each wood I have, and I have one wood. One money for each wood, you mean? Or one money, sorry. How's it going, Serge? Serge, welcome to the stream, man. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing very well. And then I'm going to go ahead and buy something. Um, oh, sorry. No, I placed this down. I did all the things, but I forgot. I got to build the building. Can you? I can. There's oh, only yeah, two, so I'll that. take that. Okay. Place that just like that. And I get... Oh, your boats can't to place one. separate now. Okay. You're right. They can't. Okay. And then I get to buy something as my second action. And I'm going to buy. I think I'm going to get a building. Hmm. It's hard to choose. Does this mean that to build this, I have to give up a structure and a rock? No, you just have to have it in your tableau. Oh, okay. So here and here. Got it. Okay. I think I'll take this for zero. Okay. And that's it. That's my turn. All right. For my turn, I am going to be putting down a boat. Now, do we sit there and put them either on no, any no, no. spots? No, no, no. The boat, the, the, every, everything you build will go on the right-hand side of your player tableau, and everything you buy will go on the front or top. As you can see, there are Got five it. spaces. One for every card you buy for each round. I'm going to be building Perfect. up in front of my dock. Spend two because you placed it adjacent twice to a dock. And then you can buy a card. And now you've got two bricks, a wood, a stone, and another wood there for whenever you need to build stuff. And I am going to be buying the salvage yard, allowing me to get a brick. Well, later. <laughs> mm -hmm. And you just place it just like that. Go ahead. Um, so scrapping, I can do that instead of putting a 
ship on the water. Instead of putting a ship or a building, you can scrap. Okay. I'm going to scrap this for three structures. Yep. Okay. So you just take three structures and place them anywhere on your boats. One, two, and three. Perfect. You discard the card. Okay. So buy a card. Oh, I can't build then. Nope, nope. So, okay. That's your action. Okay. Now buy a card. I'll give it that. Uh, in that case, I will... Oh, I don't know what those do, but okay. How about the Opera House? Okay. There we go. Okay. Which is a three, another three, somewhere here. There we go. And I think I'm going to build over here. No, don't worry, Josh. One <laughs> <laughs> structure there. Okay, it's going to cost you one. Yes. Because you built next to a wharf. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Thank you. And they need to buy one of these yeah. guys here. And I'm going to buy the um, bottom card there, yeah. So buy yard? Mm -hmm. There you go. For, All right. Oh, it's zero, okay. Yep, for free. choices. Do I have any rocks? I don't. I guess I'll place a four out. Superior. Okay. And I'll place it maybe like that. I'll place this here. I'll spend one dollar because I'm adjacent to one dock. And then I will buy a card. Oh, there's not a lot of big stuff out right now from this deck. Well, careful, Josh, right in front of the camera. Yeah, I think I'll spend a buck for a no, I guess I'll go for apartments. All right. Oh. Yeah. All right. So for trading the card for buildings and such, that's what I'm doing for the tool maker. Okay. You're scrapping allow... it. So it's going to give you two structures, and it will give you a coin for every two of these symbols so it'll give you one coin or sorry no these these symbols here yeah so no coins that's fine sadly and why does it count that one it doesn't because it's not on his this is the only area that you own oh, this is okay. not owned this is ig this you should ignore these, these. this is pending for next round yeah yep. okay that's gonna be your hand okay yep did you buy a card not yet. I'm going to buy the Apollo. And to speed the game along, what we can do, in my opinion, we should do is when, after he takes his first action, he goes to buy, mm -hmm. you should then go ahead and take your turn. Okay. So then, in the case, I will put the Sacramento out. Now that we're getting... I got, yeah. I got a three ship. And we're running out of three ship tiles. There we go. I'm going to pay one gold to hit the dock right there. So that's my play for the turn. Now I got to buy a card. So go ahead, Kelly. Okay, I'm going to scrap a little Rome ship for three structures. Okay. I wish I had a scrap to let me do that. I'm gonna pay two for the Almira. Mm -hmm. I can't even actually use this sadly. And then I will buy. to scrap 
my parks, which just gives me two structures. Not, not so great. And you can buy. Okay. For $1. Yes, here you go. And then I will buy. Hmm. And while you buy, I'm going to be building out my boat here. Pay the two coins. You have to wait for him yeah, first. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Analysis paralysis. At this point, he's ready to buy, which means I'm ready to go in. Yeah. Right, oops. Yeah, well, I, this makes a big difference for my play. And this is a thinky it game, is. by the way. It is. Yeah. Because you have, you have, you're, while you're playing the first round cards, you're also drafting the cards for the second round. Yeah, you have to be yeah. aware of what's coming up next. So if you just buy willy nilly, you're probably going to screw yourself over. So you have you're to be, be careful. To oh, that's right. Yeah. Upper house is here. So it's on there. Yeah, because those are bought cards, okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to put uh, Lydia out. Okay. The three boat. Yep. And I'm going to. Ooh. Yeah. I'm going to dock her up right here. So no one has second place yet on this one. Yeah. Just so you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's it. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to build my first building. A blacksmith. He's a blacksmith. Point of question for later rounds. Do we keep here. all these or are these going to go away? No, stay away. They stay. Okay. Yeah, everything stays. Okay. I'll put them right there. I get one structure there. Okay. And, um. You get one point. One point. And then two coins for every rock or brick. What is it? Yeah, for every rock. So wow. I have two rocks, so... Two points. Two coins. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm going to buy the realtor. Oh, the big one. There you go. All right, Callie. Yes. I'm going to buy, and you can take your turn. So this is the last turn for this round. I'll place down my Patriot, which is just a small two-boat. Um, it's not adjacent to your structure, so. All right, is that a? Is it the wharfs are next? It they is. Are, no, it is adjacent yeah. to the thing, though. I know, but I have to pay a coin. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it is. The wharfs are next at the end of this round, so I got actually. Okay. Great. I place that down. I have to buy one card, and I will buy, not shockingly. The boarding house. Ooh, it'll require him to sink a ship, which is very expensive. Well, one, two, three. That was the last turn for me. So that means it is up to you guys to finish the round off, and then I'll show you how scoring points works. I'll be right back, so you'll have to entertain them, Callie. And make sure, speak into the microphone, not any I cards. I am debating on what I want to do with this card. Josh, you're in the camera frame, by the way. Because I think I did end up uh, not thinking too far ahead with this, so I think I you, might be... You can't build it? If you can't build it, you can always scrap it for... Yeah, well, initially I was thinking I could use these right off the top of the hat, right off the top of the bat, but that's not the case. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the planning ahead game. Yeah, <laughs> didn't board plan up. Didn't plan ahead enough for this. So most likely I'm going to scrap it. It's the newspaper. It gives me two structures, and that's it. I'll give you some coins. If I have two, which I only have one, oh, so okay. I okay. won't be able to facilitate that. Okay. Oh, uh, oh, you can put it right there if you want. Could have, yes. Okay. 
And there's... I'm building a theater. Ooh, I have... Oh, for it. Yeah. You are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is a three structure that I'm going to put in the only place I can. I get another thing on top of that. Now building this, I get two points automatically yeah, for I'm getting two it. Two points off the bat, so you, you're not oh, red, red this game. <laughs> uh, yellow. Uh -huh. But then I also get bonus points for each level four, uh, sorry, each level two or level one structure. So this is the number of levels underneath your structure. So you have one level underneath your structure. So you get two uh, spaces on the city council track. So oh, what's going to okay. happen, yeah, you're yellow, so you're going to move yep. one, one two. two. So on the city council track, when you pass the space, you'll do... You get the bonus. Yeah, you get the bonus. Of, pass or land on it, you'll get the bonus listed on there. Okay. And I'm the first double person. arrow means end of the game. Everything okay. that has double arrow on it means end, end yeah. of the game. Okay. There's gonna be so I'm the first maybe, person going for a political clout. Uh, yep. Mainly because we're probably the only person who had that ability. I yeah. didn't. I had it for theater. Which is good, useful. And then card to buy. Yep. You know, buy and I'll play. I'm going to build a building as well. I will do build you my have to buy a building it. or a ship? You can. S yes, you do. If yeah, you don't, you'll you 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 lose a turn. Yeah, you have to fill out your hand. Right. Well, I guess Here. I'm going to have to take the sculpture. Oh, you Wait. didn't buy one at all? Well, I was trying yeah, to yeah. debate on it. Cost you to pay a coin? Point. Yeah. You get those well, stuff for zero, too. Why? Well, not. That was out. If you can't afford anything, you take. What are those? You mean? take the top card of the deck and you go down that many points. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And I'll get what do those mean? Points. What do what mean these? Yeah. That's You can choose to take three of these uh, tokens, which are the ones over there. They increase the your wharf. wharf and they also increase. Oh, or they okay. increase your uh, ability to build structures. And then okay. this building has one level underneath it, so I will also get three points. Great. But yeah, you definitely want to have five. You have to, because otherwise you lo literally will lose a turn. And you'll lose the game if you only take four turns at the round. There you go. I'll take the tenement. So, and a note about building, too. We can build up to four levels high. Great. Okay. And make sure you can look at the screen, Josh, to make sure that you're not in the... Yeah. Cool. All right. Oh, I so I got a five. And then it's the end of the round. Ooh, all the expensive ones are scary ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll go with the less expensive. What this guy. Okay. I can give you guys the buildings too if you just tell me which ones you want. Yeah. Great. A tenement. So now what's going to happen is we are going to score. So we are going to score for round one. And the first thing we're going to do is the wharfs. Each wharf is going to give you the points equal to the number of wharf spaces. And they all start off with seven to begin with. And it will go in the, val it's like an evaluation for each of them. It's not very complicated, but I only played once before with, well, I have a number with four players actually. But let me go ahead and just make sure. Mm. Okay, so first place gets points equal to the number of wharf spaces. So we'll go from the bottom to the top. The bottom, Max is winning. So Max is going to get seven points. So move him up seven points, please. From zero to seven. I am in second place. I get half the points of first place rounded down, which means so I get three. three. Okay. Then we're going to go to the next space, and me and Josh are tied. No, we're not. Are you beating me? No, you're not. Two and two. We have two and two. One and two. One and two. Oh, because the upper level. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize uh, Ties are resolved by adding together the point values for the tied rank and the next rank down. So we each get five points. Yes. Then you're going to take this one here, and uh, I believe Josh is winning here. So seven points for Josh. And then Callie is going to get uh, three points. Thank you. And then Callie is going to get seven points. And I am going to get three points. Beautiful. And that is how wharf scoring works. And the same is said for um, scoring these areas here. So now we're going to score. Yeah, that was me right there. Oh, I'm so, just fixing the thing. Oh, okay. So this now we're going to score for the green buildings. I have one green building. I have two. I have one. I have two. So me and Josh have one. Max has two and Kelly has two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're tied, which means you're going to score 10 and 6. 
Eight. Rounded down, or okay, yeah, eight yeah, each. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So eight each. Yep. And then Josh and I are tied as well for one, so that's eight. So we get four each. Eighteen. All right, and then we're gonna flip over that to signify that we finished that. Oh, you get sorry, third place. I thought it was two points. No, we we, we both took place. second, mm -hmm. so we took the first, second and third, and we added them together, and then we divided. Okay. Yeah. Then we're going to do the end of round, and I'll explain this really quick right here. We're going to um, gain currency for every single currency displayed on our far right-hand side. I have two, so that will give me two currency. Max has one, so you will get one max. Josh has four, so Josh is going to get go ahead and trade me yeah. that, yep, for that. I have four as well. Wow. Look at you guys. A lot of money. Okay, you're gonna discard all the cards from the market market rows. So we'll just take all these guys here, and I will put Burn them turn. into the discard pile here. Into the void. And then we're gonna dump four new ones out for okay. each. One, two. Refreshing three, the market. <laughs> four. And then we're going to pick up the five cards that we previously drafted, put them into our hand. And the first player marker will pass to the player who is in last place. Tied. Which is tied between me and you. Uh, if it's a tie for the last player, the start player marker goes to the tied player who was last in turn order from the previous round. So that'd be me. Wow, that ruins me. That puts me in last. I, I get to go last then. Just because of a tie. Careful. All right, so going first. That's always good fun right there. And then what do we do for the resources? I don't know what you're talking about. You always have whatever's on your tableau as far as resources. These are what you have. Got it. You can build a building, you can build a boat, or you can scrap a card. There's also one additional rule now that we're a little bit into the game and that you guys understand how this game works. Some of the cards are big fancy ones. Okay? Whenever you build a building or a boat, you're going to place one structure down. You better listen because I'm only telling you once. When you build a building or your boat, you place one structure down. However, if you have the additional resources provided in the yellow area, you will be able to place one structure on every single space on that building. Oh, wow. Okay. Does everyone understand that? Yeah. Okay. Build All it right. up immediately. I am going to build a building. Okay. And your building costs a... Eh, can't build that. Why not? Oh wait, you can't. Okay, sorry. This this is going to give you a red brick, and it's going to cost you a brick and a rock, and you what do have those two. Yes, the bricks this, are actually very good. Does that mean I have to sink a ship, or yeah. I have to have one already sunk? You sink it when you okay. pay for the card. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Just securing that place for sure. Something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Josh. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a little tricky. I wish I could move boats. <laughs> oh, we don't get any more money from this? Nope. That's it. Yeah. Oh, so buying cards is going to be tricky then. Some of them cost zero, though. Don't worry, though. If you can't afford them, you can take the top card of the deck and lose victory points for the card. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Which means that it's going to be random, and yeah. uh, it's going to cost you for being random. So, yeah. But you have a lot of, you have a lot of money, you and Callie both. Well, you've yeah, got a lot of money during the round. I say that, but I'm going to have to spend more than I would have liked. So, yeah. I'm going to build the Elmira. It is a four-spot ship that is actually going to go all four right here. Really? Why? I have are you reasons. trying to beat me on the wharf? Because no. if, if you are, okay, as I say, because you might want to spread yourself out more. Okay, that's fine. I need, no, I need a certain number of spaces in a row. It's going to be four coins. Yeah. You that gives you one structure I, I on the boat. Now, I also see now for strategy, yeah, that why it is you might not want to divide up so much because now I, if I'm trying to build something that needs a certain number of spaces in a row, I don't have that. They're divided. That's where it gets tricky. Yep. Okay. Uh, uh, buy a card. Now all the fancy oh, expensive yeah. cards are out. Yeah, which I can't afford. <laughs> uh, but there is a zero cost ship, so unfortunately I'm just going to have to take that. And I'm done. I want to scrap this card 
Remind me what this one is. That's going to give you three structures, and it's going to give you... Oh, what's the check mark do? It's on the back of the rule book, it might be. It is, and it is... Ignore... Okay, when you buy a card, it's for free. Okay, and I'll get to buy a card for free. Okay. It's okay. pretty good. Really good, actually. Because victory points... Are, you, <laughs> you also get victory points at the end of the third round for every card that you bought. Because money's worth nothing at the end of the game. It's only f good for scoring. Wow. And I'll buy for free. Sorry. <laughs> what are you doing? Just tell me which one you'd like oh, and I'll pick well, it and give it to you. Oh, well, I can't see them because of the glare. That's all. I'm going to use that okay, person. You grab them. <laughs> I'm going I'm to take my turn. I'm going to go apartments. And that is a two. And I'll place it right here. And that's going to score me four points. Uh, Oof. How about there? Actually, here is the place. And then I'll buy a card. And I'm going to buy... Oof. Some of these are really fancy, but I can't afford them. That for one. I'm done. Uh, I'm going to be building on a boat. Can you give me one of the ones that are four? Thank you. Scrap the opera house for four structures. I'm gonna take that guy. Ooh, a lot of structures there. Ooh, it sounds a big building. That's right, a big building. building. Big boy. When your building is larger than these, you can take multiple of them and place them in a line. Oh, okay. So, for instance, cool. if you're building, yeah, if you're building, yeah, right, I know. I'm building I, well, I just, five. I said these as in just like five or six. I can just so do it across. So you all. could do it like that. Okay. That would be one building. Okay. Okay. And I'm done. Did you buy a card? Then not yet. Well, I just meant for my turn, so. I, okay. Yeah. That way she can go. Yeah. What card would you like? My two rock. I'll build the marketplace, which would give me. Did the one cost. Okay. It'll give me two points. And it's on the third level. It has two levels below it, so I'll go on the council track four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I get to first pick a resource. Um, the silk, please, Max. Thank you. Yep. And one of these will come out. Uh, did it go past the red? You did? Yeah, I'm on okay. the red. So you take this. This is something that anybody can build during a build action as long as you're able to. Oh. So it's a sink a boat and... Uh, have yeah, two out. tailoring cloths, and then you can build that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but you gotta okay, you need to buy a card now, right? Yeah, I need to buy a card. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this tenement, and it's gonna give Scrap me, it. it's gonna give me two plus two, which is four of these structures. Okay. So, one, two, 
to Jesse. How's it going, dude? Thanks for being with us. Hey, hey Jesse. How you doing? Three. And four. I'll take the Wait, other bit. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. How much you want? I'll give it for you. Or you can, uh, or ask me to hand you all four, and I'll hand you all those. Just so it's easier, so you don't have to reach all the way across the table. Okay, and I'm now going to go ahead and buy for myself. And I want. Ooh, 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 that's tough. That's a red brick. I'll take this one, boarding house. I'm gonna be scrapping my Apollo for three buildings, and then I will get one coin, if I'm reading that one correct. You get three buildings and a coin, yes. And just a coin, or is that one You get two coins. <laughs> two coins, cool. Okay. Make sure to talk over here, too. I'm talk over there, I can't hear you. I'm Putting a press cut out, a little mini two boat. I'm gonna pay nothing because I'm going to float it next to something I already control. Yep, that's perfectly fine. I don't want to pay anymore right now. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Done. Okay. Now I gotta buy something. Yep. Is there anything for one or zero? Uh, there's, there's nothing. Would you like to? Oh, so you have to take one of these. Which, boat or building? Uh, it's, let's go building. I have to pay building? one victory point, right? It's zero. Oh, I got lucky. Okay, I'm cool with that. Okay. Apartments. I'm going to scrap my Ooh. supply yard. Okay. That'll give me. Warfare. Uh, yeah, I'll give you those pieces you equal to. Pieces. So you get two of them. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. That's uh, not the greatest, sadly. Mm. Let me get two points, though. So. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Increase your boarding area. It's always nice getting home from work, taking a little load off. Heck yeah. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep. I'm gonna buy. So go ahead. All right. Ooh, there's a lot of large ones out now. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, Euphemia or Euphemia. She's just going to let me give it, put a three boat out. A boat of three is what I need. Thank you. Ooh. Um, You're getting a nice old blockade in there. <laughs> that. And a building, of course. Mm -hmm. You gotta pay two, don't you? Or no one. Because you're touching the taco here. Oh, yes, you're correct. Yeah. And I'm paying two for Brilliant, the ship. Okay. Thank you. That's a brilliant move. And it's your turn. I'm going to go ahead and buy something. Oh, come on, nobody. Brilliant move. Brilliant <laughs> ship. <laughs> ba dum bum. Ba dum dun da dun dun. And while you blah, blah. go to buy, I'm going to be building the salvage yard. I'm building the realtor, and I have the full deal for it. I have three coins, I have two logs, I have one building and one rock, another building and another rock. So I get to put that on the realtor where it's a six and fill it up. Yeah. Oh, you're paying the extra cost of yep. the resource? Yep. 
I have to sink a ship though, so I'm gonna sink this. Oh, what no. do I do with the sink ship? It doesn't come off of there. Oh. So actually you take this little sunk icon and you Lock put that. it over the resources of that ship. Oh. Then you don't get the resources. I don't remember which one that is. Oh, the no, two it, one. It oh, later rounds, it okay. Just, it only matters what resources you're gonna be, you wanna lose, basically. No, okay. Let me turn okay, I guess I'll do that then. Um, wait, I gotta put all these on. Oh, that money. sucks. Yeah, that's... Yeah. You had everything to do so? Yep. Excellent. Uh, well, had this one. To yep. pay yeah, as long as you had it before. Yeah. Yep. Great. And you're going to you score your points for it? Uh, not yet. Uh, so oh, I get, I get 10 points right now. Yep. Good job. 28. And then what's the oh, and the game bonus? Game, okay. Yeah. Great. And then buy a card. Uh, yeah. Still got one coin. Is there anything one? Oh, there is a one. And hey, hey. I will scrap. I'll the pick the courier. Kalau <laughs> for three for three structures. Go right here. A town square on a boat. Interesting. Yeah. Any questions? Are really good on. Yeah. On the uh, no questions on the stream, yeah. Cool. You hand me all your scrap cards? Yes. Great. Thank you. You might have to reshuffle the deck. <laughs> For a four player game, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, we're running out of. Uh, Did you building. finish your turn? Uh, yeah, I'm just buying. Oh, okay. They I put will everything build on post, didn't they? Apartments. Wow. Register of deeds, grocer, the post office. <laughs> Got it. I uh, know. Give me a minute. There we go. Um, four points. Okay. That's it. Oh, and one point. Four and one. Give me four and one, Josh. Five yeah. points total. Okay. You're red. 16, five total, 21. Thank you. 20. Yeah, 21. Yeah, that's correct. Did you buy yet? Uh, not yet, sorry. Uh, just when we build these, we're supposed to get the points for these ones. For the last Those one. ones, the yes. Last ship there. So you should get two Animal? for that, and what's the other one? Uh, or do 10. Okay. So 16, 20. Okay. Four, four. I need a small boat, it looks like. I guess I'll take this one here. Alright, I'm going to build a repair shop. Well, actually, I don't think I can. It's not those. Those are your resources. I know. I was checking what the resource was below it, so that way I didn't sit there and try to overuse my resources. Hmm? That's not a thing. Combine. If the resources here outweigh what's here, does that matter? It's not I don't a thing. Know. Okay. Then I'm you have one. That's why you cover them up. Yeah. Hell, it'd be that'd be terrible. You have to go through every single card and check. Oh, and that'd see. be horrible. Yeah. You have to go like, okay, especially in the third round. Oof. <laughs> okay, I'm building a tenement. It's a three. Uh, it goes on. It's gonna go right up here on top of the realtor. Wow. Now two, I'm gonna need some help how to score this. So it's gonna give you two points, and then that is the. Uh, what those? Is this the, the second? This is the third, third level, level, right, Kelly? Oh, it's on the third level, so I get so it's nine points. Two levels are below it. Oh, so two levels. Right, okay. So six points. So four is the max you can go, though. It is. Yeah. So if four, it was four levels. Four, below. One, two, three, four. If it was up here and there was four below it, then that would give you. Oh, so total. you can go five levels then. I don't know the way they. You can have, yeah, the, the highest... Well, it doesn't say below it, though. It just says, okay, level one equals three, level two. But in the rule two. book, it says... Oh, okay. Below. So when you have a building up here, yeah. that will be three levels below it, right? Okay. And then the next one is it would have four levels. You couldn't put any buildings on top. You couldn't go any higher than up here. So one more level after this one is the highest you can go. So four is max. Right, yeah. Right now, you're two levels. So how would I get level four, then? You'd build a building right on top. But I thought you said I can't go to level five. 
You can place structures yeah, up there, you just can't build higher. Yeah. Oh, and You can okay. put structures on. Uh, so that on, would go up here, but none of those. Yeah, they could. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they go up there, you just can't build okay. on top of it. You so, can put this on top of little... Okay, so I get six points? Yes. Okay. There's just a big chunk of points. Okay. Yeah, but I wanted more. <laughs> 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 I thought since it was level three, it's like, okay, do I get the level three ranking? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I gotta buy. Buying? Yeah. Oh, you don't have money. <laughs> mm. That's why I'm gonna get this for free. <laughs> yeah, cool. And that's a three. Oh, I'm not, very cheap hand next round. My uh, my building strategy is not working very well. I'm kind of like condensed over here, where it's just mm -hmm. me chilling with a bunch of like. Oh, wow, you you. I got a whole row of stuff. You dominated me over there. Point. And then I only have four money, which is enough to buy. You turn go ahead. Is you're right there, right? Didn't Sit go council. One. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. My turn. Oh, Callie's on the political track. Actually, okay. no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna. Uh, gosh, move me up one point. I'm gonna sack my boarding house, okay. which is going to net me four structures, for having one, two, three purples and a green. Okay. Oh, can you put that one? Here? Okay. Two. two. Less laid plans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mice and men. Mm -hmm. Three uh, and. One last spot, nice. Yeah. Oh, you got the boat over there too. That's right. Yeah, I do. I have an extra one yeah, if need be. Yeah. Get a weird shape over here. <laughs> Who me? Yeah. Cause it's not a complete L, cause you're missing that one corner. <laughs> that is true. And I got a so one last. Can I even oh, this is the last round, correct? This is the last yeah. round. So I mean, for the press cut. Can I even put anything on that because I sank it? Because this is the one that's the two ship or whatever. Anybody? Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Uh, I believe you can. You just can't get the resources for the Prescott. But I sunk it. How can I build on it? Um, it's it's not that you sunk. I don't know how it works thematically. I know you don't get the resources. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, like it's, it, it's basically, it's there in the harbor and it exists, mm -hmm. but there's nothing inside of it. So all so the I resources, on it, but, but the resources weird. are gone. Well, no, think about it this way. The Queen Mary. Not money. Yeah. Queen Mary yeah, just kind of, sunk. yeah, she's, th but she's just there. She can't go out in the water. She can't function. So the nothing inside okay. works. Okay. Is what I'm saying. Okay. It's, 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 it's a structure that you can build on, but otherwise it doesn't generate you any profit. Okay. It's a floating museum. I'm sure this is gone, right? Or no, no it's yours. a sunk museum. Okay. okay. So now the, this is the end of the round. So we're going to do scoring. Uh, the first okay. thing we're going to check is the track here. Uh, the amount of points for the track. You know, oh, the first thing. Remember place, how right? it works. By remember, I mean look up in the rules. Mm. <laughs> Council scoring. Oh, you score uh, three points for each person that is behind you. Oh. I believe that's so how Callie that works. So, Cali get nine, I get six? Uh, it's this, uh, players score points based on the number relative to the opponents. Each player scores three points for each opponent who is at least one space behind them on the track. Yeah, so I if get If two or more people occupy yeah. the same space, none of those players are considered to be behind. Oh. The other players who occupy that space, uh, the order in which oh, they arrive, okay. and it doesn't sense. matter. So basically, she gets nine, I get six. Yep. Okay. Thirty-six plus six, so forty-two, please. Okay. And cool. then we are going to do blue buildings now. I have three blue buildings. Two. 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 So That's I nice. will take first place with ten points. If you can move me ten points, yep. please. I'm red. Thirty-one. Okay. And who is second place? All of us. All you have had two, mm -hmm. uh, so you're all going to split eight points. So you're going to get two points each. Two points each. Okay. One two, one two. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and then we are going to do the end of the round aspect. You'll flip that over. We're going to get rid of all of these cards here. I really need some money, please. <laughs> we are going to get money. So take the amount of money needed. Okay. So I am. I have three, four, five. It's all these, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Six. Six cool. as well. Sorry, I'm... Thank you. And this is our last round of play. Uh -huh. Thank you. So do we even have a buy phase? We do not have... We do. Because oh. we will get points for each uh, value in this area here. Oh, okay. 
you They're literally keep, buying you points. Keep trying okay. Hard, then yeah. If you want more points, yeah. You're literally buying. Okay. Okay. Cody, thank you for being with us. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. How you doing? Are you playing the game? Um, this is a new game or older one? This is actually this is brand open. new. You can buy it right now. It just came out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, on Amazon, so I have a link. And if you're watching on Facebook and within comment, and we'll have it in the YouTube video. This as well. is a, mm -hmm. yeah. This is a. It's already on YouTube. Actually, it's already in the review. Um, this is a mix between the game Whistle Stop, Whistle Whistle Mountain, Mountain. Whistle Mountain with Luke Laurie, uh, and it's also uh, It's a Wonderful World by Lucky Duck Games. I can't I say the name of the designer. I don't want to say the name of the designer, so I'm definitely going to get it wrong, but yes. Uh, it's a, kind of a mix between those two games. This is one of my favorite games from Renegade. Really? Yes. Okay. I like this. At, yeah, least in the last, at least in the last couple of years. Yeah. yeah, this is fun. Okay, and then the person who's in last place... Which is me. You get to go first again. They take all the cards into your hand, too, and everybody got their currency? Yep. Okay. I am just trying to think of how I want to play this out. Well, I guess I'm going to create a boat. Josh, can you hand me a boat of two? Uh, yep. Thank you. What does a green check mark on a blue flag mean? It means that you are verified by Renegade. <laughs> no, let me see. Let me see. Uh, that means the next buy on this round mm -hmm. is free. Oh. Which is good if you buy a big card because you get three points in the yeah, game. Yeah, okay. I'm good with that if I want to scrap that, though. All right, build the thing, Max. I did. You did? Yeah, I'm looking to buy right now. Okay, Josh, your turn. Okay. Your turn to buy? Yeah. Also, you don't be check. Make sure you're not in the in the. Yeah, well, for, for my for, for my turn, I can wait for it a little bit. Yeah, that's that's fine. I just make sure though, for the most part. Yeah. People want to see our beautiful faces. Mm, well, hers anyway. <laughs> you do not understand the sexiness that is existing in this little area here I, of the screen. I don't. I really don't. I don't know if I want to. Uh, no, Some people just don't appreciate good looks. <laughs> yeah, I I gotta see him first. You spend though. three. Okay. Yes, I did. I remember, you can buy. You can you can build this. <sighs> this this isn't available for anybody to build, provided you have the resources when you build. Yeah. Okay. But I don't see those out anywhere. I I have one. Cali. I only have one of them. Cali has one. I do too. So, yeah. Oh you. Oh, oh okay. This one from the council track. Okay. Yeah. Five points. Yeah, build it. Plus yeah. three Space. points for each sunk. <laughs> yep. All right. Yeah, you, did you take an action, Josh? No. You're talking to me about analysis paralysis. Because I'm asking you what some things do, and now that it does what it, you know, once I heard, it's like, oh, actually, I, I was thinking about building it. I don't think I want to now, which actually that was going to be my first action. I just mentioned this in general just because I didn't see anybody building it yet. Me and Callie had built for them previously. No, like this, two or three of them. What there is oh. with scrapping it does, it's, it's actually really good. Especially late game. What does this mean, endgame? Uh, for each flag that exists, uh, it's three points. Did I have to build, or...? No, that is just out. Okay. No, so... Mm. Oh, no, sorry, for each constructible one. Each one, each one that you constructed. Okay. Yeah. So it's not really gonna get me much. Think you're gonna win, baby? I'm trailing the rear just so that I can build up some momentum here. I'm wait. I'm letting you guys feel like you're. I think sure. With my apartments, apartments, and my carpenter. Yeah, I'm. I'm just saving time. Okay, I'm gonna scrap the chicken mesh for three buildings. Great. And then go ahead. I will build the great ship, the Elizabeth, and that is going to be six. And this is going to cost a lot, but I'm going here. Okay, it's going to cost you three base. money. Yeah, competition. Okay. One, two. Right now. Thank you. And I took one structure there. Okay. And that's it. I'm bad. All right, I'm going to play a noble. Just basically just... 
Kazaku, thanks for joining us. How hey, welcome. Going? How you doing? I hope you're doing very well. Yeah, this one has been released. It has, yes. I need a three boat. I'm gonna put it right here. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna finish your little block there. Let's see what you got. Okay. Cost me three. Sadly. Put this over. And then I get to buy. And you can go ahead, Max. All right. I am gonna have to scrap out my hotel for, like zero for five. Now. And this is gonna give you, oh, just straight up gives you five. Pretty good. And that'll be it for me. Okay, I'm going to, yeah, I kinda of want to build that, but you know what, I'm gonna, I'm going to scrap it. Um, I'm going to put apartments up on top of my already really precariously tall ship. <laughs> you are definitely not going to let me take first place for that one, are you? Mm. You want, yeah, you want apartments <laughs> at yeah. the very top. Sorry, they get, one. Give me more points. One. Yep, so you're going to get... So, so one point to start with, and then since there's three levels below it, then I get six, so total yep. I get seven. Seven points? One and seven. Or one and six, sorry. So. There you okay. go. And that's what it. What do you want? Okay. I will scrap Panama. Okay. That's a three pointer. Sorry, Callie, well, I'm blocking you. <laughs> I, 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 I give up. Okay. Making this beautiful building here. Or ship, yeah. Wow. Wow, that gave you a six? Huh? Five structures for this card. Are these yeah. separate or no? Oh, how'd you get a six? Like, how is it like I a. I built a six boat. Oh, and that six boat is actually like this then, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh. Okay. That's a nice platform. Damn. Okay. Do you want it? This will go first then. And I have to sink something sadly. Sucks. Point relates. Sorry. Rob, how's it going, dude? Thanks for being with us. Hello, hello. And that's four. So two and two. Four structures on it. Nice. Yeah. If you would. Yeah, no worries. And then I score. Is it level? You only have one level, one level. below you. Okay, so it's six, uh, three points plus five, eight total. Can I buy Five monies. Is there any reason I want monies at this point? I don't have any. I don't even have so any boats left, so not really. So if you with the money, then you need to keep your money. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't have any. Oh, I do have one. Okay. So I'm I really need to build keep. a firehouse. I'll just keep these for this. Two points in the game. Oh, -ho. it's getting pretty now. I'm going to see the city yeah. get constructed. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, so you're done? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put the courier up here. Wow. So I get two points, and then that's not going to matter at game because I'm not making that hotel, so just two points. Okay. You want to buy something? Yeah. You want something cheap, or do you want something... I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. Did you buy that for two? Yep. Okay. The, the cost is all that matters at the end here. Yeah. 
So how much would you like to pay? One, two. two. Thanks, sir. Okay. You taking your turn, Kelly? Yes. Um, so oh, I'm going to go for scrap this first instead so of that, but no. Brilliant. <laughs> I think Mike and I are going to be in close contention for who has the most buildings. It's just going to go over here. Okay. And most building doesn't matter. Oh, most structures. Or, yeah, sorry. Just go here. Okay. Yeah. Um, scribe? Which is actually... Just a this and a rock. That's going to net me two. So it's a three. I'm going to put it right here. Um, I guess just a building. And that's going to give me if it's is it two? It's higher than two now. So four points. So six points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's How do I have it. one card less than people? Because I have the same number of cards out here. That doesn't make sense. You did something. You didn't buy one turn? Last round? No, I did. You, I sh you should have had five cards in hand. Yeah, they're all really cheap, but yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards is what you should have built. Ten. Well, no, 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 it could be, st or scrapped, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. I don't know. You should have another card in hand. That's what I'm wondering. I'm going to do a smelter. No, I didn't drop anything. I mean, I can tell you what happened to it in the replay of the video, but it's not going to help you until the yeah, morning. Yeah, I know. Is there, was it relevant? Did you need it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I even would have. I mean, I, this I is the most anything, important round of the of the game. I know. I didn't drop anything, so a random zero card. Then I mean, I don't know. My turn. Okay, I'm scrapping the scribe, so I'm gonna get three structures and Here, I get a free buy. Have an extra card, one. and then you can decide. Okay, I get the yeah. I'm scrapping this that way. I get the three structures. No, if I didn't have it, I'm picking blindly then. So. And then I get um, the free next round. So scrapped and three structures. Yep. Oh, you're trying to beat me on structures. Okay. I'm, I'm think, like, why I you? I have that. Oh, on structures? Yeah, and levels too, so. Levels doesn't matter. Oh, okay, well the higher up stuff was. Nope, okay. there's, no, I, there's no benefit to you. You have all the scoring knowledge. Okay. There's like some like end of game scoring from yeah. here, but that's about it. Okay, it's my big turn. I'm building my big thing, the customs. Three money, two or a wood, two brick, one of these, and I gotta sink something, and I pay the kicker, another wood, and another stone there. Okay. So, uh, so because I want to build that as well, because I have two of the silk. And you have to give me your silk. Oh, I have to sink twice. You have huh? to, and you have to give me your silk, please. That's a one-time oh, use. Yes, it's oh, a one-time okay. use. Uh, got okay. it. Yep. So I have to sink two things. Oof. Well, so go ahead and build them first. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter. Sinking is only relevant after the round, after the turn is over. And that one's kicked. So it's gonna get. Give me six. Oh, six. Thank you. And then you can do the next one. Oh, that's a pretty... Oh, the end of that round. I needed a card. So is there anything zero cost? I got one cost. I'll take a one. Potomac. You should... No, no, no. You, should, you already have three. You should... Oh, wait, oh no, no. Turns, okay, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm last. That's right. Yeah. Are you building another six on top of it? That's the palace. Oh, not, not yeah. six. Sorry, four. Sorry. I was like, how are you doing <laughs> that? Six. Oof. Goes this way. Okay. All right, and then you're going to score. So let's get oh, the yeah. bonus scores, for the base score first. And you yeah. are you are green. green. So Ten goes to fifty. Yeah, and that's end game. Yep. And then five, and then put five. your fifty-five. 
and then you get three points for each ship you sunk, and you sunk two ships, that's an additional six points. Oh. Which is going to put you at 61 points. Did you give me the two for the courier? I don't think so. Okay. Unless you asked that's me it. to, and I gave no. it to you. Yeah, I was about to say, I forgot to have you guys move me up three. Last place, anyways. I'm not catching up. <laughs> All right. My turn, Kellogg? Yes. Okay, I will play a town square. Kelly, don't you still need a For my one coin I need to spend. Oh, I need a card. Oh, yeah, because we each have one more card. So. And then right. that's going to give me two sad boy points, and I'll get one point for each brick, and two points for each red brick, but I only have one sad. And I'll put this and a three right here. Okay. And then I'll buy a card. Is it for zero or isn't? Oh, there is. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. Just so I have that one coin just in case. Just in case you need it at the end. <laughs> okay. And uh, last round for everybody, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yep. What do you guys think so far? Is it kind of, I mean, it's kind mm -hmm. of... It's so thinky, so I worried about how it would be on a live stream for people. Um, yeah. But I figured it would be a very good YouTube video because there's so much going on and mm -hmm. like it, it's it's got a lot of like you have to process a lot, not only for this round but next round. You yeah, know. And while you're playing the current round, you're also planning for the next round. I'm actually gonna scrap this Which for three political points. More complicated than something like a, it's a wonderful world. Oh, definitely. Three. Okay. So I get. What does it mean by I get a red flag? You pull what? it out. So first I get a resource. resource. It's not going to matter though, is it? Uh, what could for this? Like it did for me for that. Oh, okay. Uh, then I'll take a steel. Why not? Or the iron. Whatever it is. Okay. The, 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 the little eye bar. iron bar. And then a flag will come out. Well, there you go. It costs two iron bars. Only a one, but okay. <laughs> and then you also get one structure to put on anywhere. Cool. Do I have? Oh, yeah, ground level. Yeah. yeah, ground level, I guess. Okay. Bottom of the boat. And then you want to buy a card. Something for uh, zero. I get, nope. I get for free, so I'll take a three. Oh, you get it for free. From the last one, because I built that. They're not that. Because I scrapped the other thing. You only Not for the entire round. You get it for that one buy phase. You said for the next. Yeah, no, no. Next buy phase. We, the, the, which is for your next buy phase, which is... Right oh, after no, you scrap it, I played it. I paid for the you know the card that round, thinking you, when you said next, okay, my next turn, then I get it for free. So last turn I paid for it. Oh, what I meant to say is your next. Well, I did. No, I said it right. I said your next buy phase, which is this turn, after you scrap, phase. then you okay, do your well, buy, which that would be your next free, one. Free, and I would have paid for the two that I did already. Then so okay, does it make a difference? I I don't know. i have not. It's fine. Okay, you know I, I paid for last round, so sure. So my purple buildings, I get to go up on the council track. Wow. Two. Oh, Which is good, though. Trying, that scores yeah. you a ton of points. I was trying yeah, to stay ahead of her on that. One of these guys, I guess. Yeah. I wish I could even... None yeah, of my cards let like... me go up on the <laughs> council track. Um, no, got to the three so do you have any money or no? No. Uh, there are is no there... zeros. Mm -hmm. So, so what would you chance? like to take a chance? Ooh. Which one? It doesn't matter. It's going gonna to equal out at the end yeah. of the game. Yeah. So this is going to be a zero, so you'll get zero. No, because if she... It doesn't matter. If she but gets a two, back, she'll go down yeah. two, and then she'll score points based on the value here yeah. on the track. So I'm going to go ahead and play my big card now, which is not as big after Callie's, but it's a boarding house, and I have okay. all the things needed. I'm just going to sink whatever, because it doesn't really sink whatever, because it doesn't really matter at this point. I'll sink the double card, rocks. So yeah. I know. I'm going to sink yeah. the double rocks. Mm -hmm. Money's only good for ties. I'm not going to tie. <laughs> I don't think so, at least. Um, and then I'm going to get five points. One, two, three, four, and five. And then I'm going to get, based on my levels, which I believe this is going to be level two, I'll get eight points. Uh, two and two. Oof. Hard to... And fill them up. <laughs> and fill them up, yes. Okay. One. <laughs> My shoe. Close the door. Shut the door. Whatever. Pretty fancy. Let's go. 
Okay, and that's so that would give me that's that's two levels down basically then. Mm -hmm. So that's just eight points. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Ooh, eight. you're saying time. I'm not. You guys have a but I don't have any extra end of no nothing like that. We'll okay, see. and I get to take a card. I have a dollar, so I will spend the dollar to give me a card worth a dollar. Okie doke. Oh, I could not build this either. I can't afford it. Damn. Yeah. yeah. That would have been nice. I, could, I would have been very so. happy to. I would have too. There's my bar right here. Okay, so that ends oh. the game, actually. Okay. Um, what's going to end up happening now is we're going to do the final round of scoring, and then we're going to do an end of game scoring. So first, we're going to do the peers, and we'll just go from this way now. So not? Callie's going to net herself eight, eight points. points. Okay. Green. Yeah. One, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And That's I will get myself one, two, three, and four. Not bad for yeah. one structure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, Callie is going to give herself yes, eight points one. here again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the second place is I'll Josh. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'll take it. Uh, over here is going to be a tricky. Well, I think you have. I can't. I have a fourth level. I don't care about your levels. Your okay. levels don't matter. I know you're well, excited about your levels, but we're going to talk about the, no, the peer. No, they did so, okay. so where does the peer end? Right here? Yeah, yeah. So does this counter? No. It has to be yes. attached to the peer. Yes. So you have 3, 6, 9, 12, uh, 15, 16, 17. And 18. 18. Okay. It's, it's hard for me to yeah, see, yeah, right? Yeah, you guys are very excited about okay, that. I, see it. One, two, three, I don't think four, I have any more enough. Eight, nine, ten. That's it. Just ten. Okay. okay. So you win. Okay. That's and that's seven, right? So you're gonna get seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I will get three. One, two, and three. And then Max, you're gonna net yourself the seven first. points. And I will net myself three. Okay. Then we're gonna move on to the council track, which I'm screwed on. Um, Callie's gonna net herself three, six, nine points. I get six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we nothing. get nothing. <laughs> Never we saw. Get today. Nobody got it, yeah. Nope, no bonus points there either. Well, that's, that's the end of the game, though. We're not at the oh, end of the game okay, yet. Yeah, yeah we're going to do the round of scoring, and then we'll do the end of the game scoring. This is the round three scoring. So we did our dwarfs, and we did our council, and now we're going to do most structures, which I believe... This will be close. Very close between everybody. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to take <laughs> our... Look at these. Oh, good call. And we're going to count how many we have. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Ten. Nine. Really? Oh, you had Callie more than it. me, too. Uh, so, nine. Ten. Oh. I have fourteen. So, I'm in third, first, second, third. Callie gets ten points. Uh, Josh is going to get six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'll get a sad, miserable two. I was actually going for that most of the game, too. I Damn. Yeah. Well, I look at how I tried to build. Yeah. yeah. Like you built like all across, so I figured it would be easier. But I guess that's yeah. actually not the case. Um, okay. Instead and of scrapping the post office, I should. Have this is it. gonna get flipped over, and now we're gonna do the extra end of game. Now we're doing the end of game scoring, and that's a little different than the round three scoring. Hands or no? Look, he's getting it. Okay. So first, we're gonna do the buildings. We'll start with. Uh, Oh, round preparation. We're going to get a dollar for all of our things. One, two, three, four, five, okay. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Max? Five, eight. Please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight? I have no money to give a change, so. Okay. We just, all we do is the, um, uh, just the, I think it's just the collecting money. Nothing else matters. We're going to go after the round three ends. Final round scoring. So buildings. Uh, score points for any buildings in your, in your display with building bonuses that have end of game scoring conditions. And it has a, oh, okay. it has a double arrow on them. Yeah. Uh, none of mine do. Doesn't matter. Oh, actually, yeah. One of mine does. Um, for each brick. One point. <laughs> huh. Two points because of my character. Oh. I have two. One of them doesn't matter because I didn't build any red flag ones. The other one is uh, the purple buildings. Get me three points. I have one, two, three, four purple buildings. So four. I got twelve points. Uh, let me see. Realtor. So it is purple buildings. Max of fifteen points. Three for each. And how many do you have? Four. So I got twelve. Okay, twelve points. 
One, I two, have three, four, five, two six, cards seven, that allow me to do this. 12. I get one point for each of my wood, which I only have one, and two points for every one of my iron, which is one. So a total of three points. Beautiful. You are I so have, far behind, dude. <laughs> yeah. I, I have some similar to Josh. Three points for each green, green building. building. And, and you got four. four. So same four. thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And you get a hundred marker. Yep, you put it on there. Good. And then you also did you get the bonuses? For, is, that, is that it or no? That's it, right? That's it. That's all I have. Okay. Yeah. After that, then we're going to go to the council track. Score points equal to the highest scoring space you made it to, but no one made it, so it's irrelevant. Okay. Our stored cards. I have two, three, and four points. One, two, three, and four. Nine. Uh, pull yourself nine up. And then Callie. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then our character. For, if there for were, the stored points, which one is it? Oh, it's all those. Three, hmm? six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. Thirty-six to forty-six. 46. I didn't realize that was a thing. Uh, no, it's not a thing. No. It, and that's why I'm gonna explain. In general, when we're playing the advanced mode, you can use the character and all of its bonus abilities. But we were okay. playing the base mode, which just gave us the extra resource. Gotcha. Okay. And that is it. The player with the highest overall score is the winner. Ty would go to the person with money. So the good news is, if I were tied with Callie, I would have won. Uh, but otherwise, <laughs> Callie won at first place, then yeah. Josh, close behind, uh, me, yeah. and then uh, Max. Yeah, I kind of whiffed it. I beat you on this one yeah. there. And that yeah, is the did. game Embarcadero uh, by Renegade Game Studios. It's currently available, and it to me it feels a little bit like Whistle Mountain meets It's a Wonderful World. It's a little bit of a drafting game, a little bit of a puzzling placement strategy game. And, uh, and area control. Yeah, well. I really enjoy it. I'm not good at these type of games, but uh, I have a, I have a good time playing them. Mm -hmm. um, and it has a little bit of an engine building aspect to it as well. Uh, I give it my seal of approval, especially for um, it is fun. I, I, I thought for um, for a Renegade, and this has been one of my favorites in a long time of theirs. Now, they they have some other good ones as well, but this, is this has more been more in depth, which is mm -hmm. nice to see. It's very thinky. I mean, you're either gonna like. You're either going to dislike this type of game or like it, and it's going to be based on, do you like thinking ahead while playing? Do you like playing in the present while having to think ahead at the same time? Mm -hmm. And that, for a lot of people, sucks. Like, for me, it's the one downfall of the game, in my opinion. I actually okay. do not like the idea of having to draft um, my, next turn. my next turn while playing this turn. And it's really hard to kind of Keep all separate the two. Yeah. But um, it's not overly complex to do and i think the more you play the better you get at it unless you're me i think i beat Kelly <laughs> last game but yeah you did yeah, yeah. Kind of not this game when i kind I of screwed up my first yeah, setup going for one big thing at the beginning of the round and then buying the cards i needed for that one thing with the rest of my turn whether that's scrapping or Resources. I just yeah. wanted to build as tight and condensed as I could to see what would, see how I could manage that. Um, I I did a, ter a terrible job at the choosing the right buildings. Though. I built apartments and I was placing apartments in the very bottom level as opposed to waiting to the end of the game to place apartments, which well, is where I they mean, net points. Have them in your hand at the beginning. I drafted the end. for them though, oh. thinking that I could get faster, higher, uh, quicker, uh -huh. but I kept going into like block like. Mm, so that was partly it. But uh, yeah, I mean, I thought it was alright. I do pretty wish I'd good. moved one. Boat, one of these like closer over here, maybe built more there to try and keep track of that dock as well. That gave Callie a bunch of points. Yeah, so but I, I mean, need to build here if I can keep up with you, keep that dock as well. So it's thinky. Things. It's got some like you know puzzle, and it's kind of like a, a mixture of a whole lot of things. And this, the setup docks. is pretty massive too. I know you did. Yeah, you're the only one who went to three docks. Everybody yeah. else stayed on two. Yeah, I was I was thinking about even going it's to another points. one. Oh, yeah, it's good points. Here. Easy. Yeah. For having one, one boat, yeah. yeah, that's why I was trying to tell. I was trying to tell you guys to do it at the beginning. That's why I specifically built in one area yeah. to give you guys because we'd already played before. So I, I wasn't interested in like going hard, unlike some people. But I'm like, you know, I just you know show you guys that if you have the area control, especially at the very beginning of the game, that's going to net you a ton of points. If you had the four boats in hand, one, two, three, four, you could have at least gotten second oh, yeah. place on each space. Uh, which, which is a lot of free points. A lot of free points, and that happens again at the end of the game. It gets a little tricky then trying to maintain. Callie netted a ton of points though. from the tr council track too. Yeah, she yeah, met, she, she got nine and twelve points. I tried getting ahead of her, then she moved ahead nine of me and again. Nine. nine and yeah, not in, yeah. Oh, three six. I tried oh, so you were ahead both times. Yeah, okay. I, so I, I moved ahead of her once, and then she immediately moved ahead of me again. Like, which oh, which was okay. enough to actually. Uh, oh no no! It's 
for you every person you're again. for every person you're at least one space ahead of. Yeah, I'm one space ahead of you. I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, without the council track alone, yeah, yeah. she would have been here. Crazy. So that's how. Well, I don't know where I've been either. So well, you got a lot of points for council as well. I didn't have yeah. any. I couldn't. Find, there was one card I could have discarded, but it would it only was, it would only yeah, got me two spaces. Up. I would have been twelve points back of that. So. So um, I already have my review out, so you can hear more yeah, about no, what I have to think about. There's not a lot of cards moving up on that very easily. So I have my review out on YouTube. You can watch my um, uh, you know explanation about what I think about this game more there, why I, what I liked, what I didn't like, kind of give you more um, examples there, but I'm curious what you guys uh, think about the game. Do you, and is this something you would play again? Is it something you're interested oh, yeah. in, Callie? Or? Yeah, i play it again. Um, I think, yeah, the toughest part is... Because you didn't like it as much at first. Yeah, I'm planning really? for the next round. Okay, um, I like that. Well, the second time you play is, is of course. easier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think I could definitely improve on what I did improve, with this time. Yeah, you learn from your mistakes. Yeah, you learn how very to do much it. Agree. Yeah, um, I liked it. I'll, I'd play it, play it mm -hmm. again if Josh wanted to try to beat me. Definitely. <laughs> Josh, what do you think? Damn, oh, yeah, I'd love to play it again. Heck yeah. Yeah, enjoyable. Oh, yeah. And nice. I like the historical agree. context too. Now that I have a better understanding of how this game goes, I won't whiff my absolute first turnout like I did this time. Which will allow me to get. There's a lot of moving parts to too. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's pretty complex for a game. This would be a, a, a meteor. It's a meteor puzzle game for sure. Mm -hmm. You know. I mean, if, I think Whistle Mountain is fairly medium weight. It's don't pretty. Don't play Pokemon. But this is kind of a lot more uh, attached to that. It's got multiple mechanics involved in it as well. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game live stream for Embarcadero by Renegade Game Studios. The game plays one to four players. Takes roughly about an hour and a half or so, which I think is how long the stream took to play the game. And is for ages, I think it's 13 and up. Right? 13 or 14 probably. Yeah, one of those two. If you enjoyed this video and the live streams, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, or join us on Facebook as well as, of course, our Discord. You can also go ahead and join us on our unfilteredgamerboardgame.com or unfilteredgames.com, unfilteredgamer.com, whatever one you want. Link down below in the description. We have more videos to show you, more written content, and uh, artist corner, a whole bunch of great stuff there. Um, our next live stream will be next Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, where you can watch us play more games. We'll have Ninja Star's uh, Ninja Star Games, uh, one of the publishers from there, come on by and show you his new game called Reputation. Okay. Reputation, yes. Okay. Dan's game. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And we'll look forward to having you guys in there. We'll do a giveaway or two uh, from his games. He's got a ton of games we played before, and I actually met him at Strategicon not too long ago, which was a lot of fun. And uh, it'll be okay. cool to see some, some more games, some new games of his, and some of the games I, I haven't actually played. Oh wow. Well. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me on the stream. Callie, uh, Josh, and Max hidden in the background here. And I much appreciate you guys. Um, and as always, I look forward to seeing See you, guys you guys next time. time.